Welcome to the show, guys. Uh, today we're taking you guys back on a Tuesday nighter. Jackpot style. Three fish. Long as three wins. And there's another category for big bass. Coming off of two pretty good tournaments. I uh, feel pretty confident coming into this one. But you'll see. All right. It's not going to be a Chatterbait day, but we got Chatterbait redone. Change the color a little bit. So. Yeah, it's Bluebird days. Anyways, Pua forgot <laughs> his life jacket. And it's we'll find out quickly here that I forget other stuff too. Let me know in the comments if you guys uh, have those days in the water where, like, you get there and you forget something. That's good, Jeff. At the truck. We're at the house. Oh, I got a first. Got my paddle. Alright, I'll let you go. I don't get my paddle. <laughs> Got my paddles. I meant paddle. Actually, I did forget my pedals too. <laughs> I walk all the way back to the boat ramp and then I realize. I forgot my mirage draw. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight boats. Just to get a 15 and stuff. I don't know how today's gonna go. This is my second trip back to the truck right now. First, I got my paddles. Then, I got my drive. Walk of shame, guys. Walk of shame. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of them out there. Two people to help them hold it. Yeah, yeah. So see, the ball. big, the big, big stripers. Your best chance at one of those is at night. Is where? At night. Yeah. Yeah. Those guys, they don't. I think they have too much experience. <laughs> they won't bite anything during the day. Well, he'll like, he'll go out and one cast catch like a twenty-pound striper, then the next cast catch a sixty-pound flathead. Yep. Well, they all hang out together in the little yeah. dam areas. They do. But I'm too scared to go out there at night. I don't I don't do the night stuff. Not in a kayak. I'll do it in a boat, but not in a kayak. Well, everything I do, I think, you know, I got a two and a half year old to come back home to every day. Exactly. When I when I was single, there was a lot less shits given. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I say too. But now I'm just like everything is Yeah, think of it. Yeah, think of it and yeah, think of it again, right? Yeah. yeah. It's fun though. Striper fishing, I love it, man. If you just want to do some, uh, you just want to hear some like real start screaming, it's all stripers. It's where it's at. Let me know if you guys want to see uh, some striper fish. All right, guys. All right, so we're taking off. 8:45 check-in. No ball, miss. Come down, last time. <laughs> uh, William, you want? <laughs> yeah. It's like target locked. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Yeah, I just wing it. It's different. Last time we were here, it was. I don't think the water was this high last time. This place is always muddy. I've never seen it clean. Yeah, let's go fish, uh, fish that fence line. Hard target. There's a fence line in the water. I know, I see that. I might go there. <laughs> go. <laughs> I don't know. Let's go throw a frog on it. <laughs> yeah, I love these uh, Tuesday nights because. Uh, no one ever practices, just go out, get two and a half hours, just just don't fish. I like to fish. Like I, that's my style. So um, I love afternoon fishing compared to morning fishing too. So I think I do better in the afternoon. Well anyways, uh, I picked a random spot, I've never fished it before. If you guys see my other uh, video on this lake, uh, you guys know how to swim jigs and stuff like that. 
I tried that a little bit, but it didn't really work out. Uh, the fish didn't want to follow or chase anything today, so I figured Synchro's already rigged up. Throw a Synchro around, see what they're doing. Spots look promising, but they just didn't, didn't want to play right here. I mean, you see the water, it's chocolate milk almost. We actually had to talk about this too. Uh, we were uh, talking about uh, what the difference was between the watercolor right now and chocolate milk. And uh, we all concluded that today's watercolor is iced coffee. With, after the after the ice is already melted, so that's the water color. Yeah, we joke around a lot of these events, man. It's, these are awesome events. Uh, put in your twenty bucks, jackpot. There is a big bass, and there's a uh, three fish limit. Winner take all on both categories. Uh, what I'm doing? Okay, so sink is not working. I'm covering water too slow. I'm trying to throw something or pitch something up into that grass Senko wacky rig is not going to cut it so uh, I threw the jig first from uh, the last video that I was throwing out deep it was just didn't feel right didn't come through the grass real good so uh, ugly dark water like this uh, I usually don't do this by the way but the whole Texas rig flipping, flipping plastics I'm, that's my weakness so, uh, listen to your gut. Your gut's like, all right, that's what you got to do. So, that's what I got rigged up right now. It's on a 4 up BMC, 3 8 ounce uh, sinker, not pegged. This is a Strike King uh, black and blue structure bug. And this is like my 10th cast with it. A little stump in the water. Looks really good. But nobody home. And uh, this gets interesting. So basically, I bring over this grass, and I get thumped. I wasn't sure, and then I let it sit for like five seconds. Then I'm like, yeah, it's a bat. <laughs> I set the heart. I was set the hook, and I don't think I set the hook hard enough. But it was so close, it actually had good penetration. I saw that right. Y'all saw that? Y'all saw that? Y'all saw that? Y'all saw that? Whew, that's a good size one. That's a real, that's a real big one. Black and blue. Thank you, Vincent. Once again, my buddy Vincent, man. Swears by the black and blue. Every time I fish with him, he always says black and blue. So here we go, black and blue. Uh, let's get this guy measured up. That's a good one. Oh, what do you know about that? That's a 20. That's a 20. That's a 20. 20 and a quarter. Alright, video didn't capture that, but that 20, I took one quick photo of it, and it jumped off my board and went back into the water. I don't know why they go probably didn't, go pro didn't catch that. And I wrap around. This is a spot that uh, my, Luke, my buddy Luke already fished through, and he soaks up all the fish, so I basically follow through and uh, follow up with a Senko. I get a couple of good bites here. I just couldn't hook them for some reason. But he, this is a Bass Pro. I forgot the lore is called, but it's a Bass Pro Cinco. Oh, that one. Rock bass. Blue little bass. Yeah, I didn't catch that one either, but, but it's a little fish. Right, take a picture real quick. It's a hard day. Catching the lid was hard. This is my second fish. My smallest fish of the day. Ah! Yeah, 
Mitch is very active. And always jumping off my board. 11 and a half. Sounds good to me. Anyways, if you guys have any questions about tackle or anything like that, let me know in the comments. I'll uh, do my best to answer. <coughs> this is a new series of videos. Uh, I'm recording all what I'm doing on these attorneys. The third one? And I'm just explaining to you what I'm thinking, what my thought process is. Yeah, so we're flipping Senkos, Wacky Rig, Weedus Wacky. Seem to be on the outer well, I won't say Weedus. It's, it's I haven't got the fiber guards on it. It's not even that good. But I'm just trying to get bit because I know it's a hard day. Look at the conditions. It's like barely wind and Cinco. windy. Some thumped it. Yep, some thumped it. That was either a good bass or a really, really big bluegill. Yeah. There we go. Uh, decent, decent, decent. Sanko. Sanko. Come on, Sanko. Come on, Sanko. Come on, Sanko. You're my friend, right? That's right. See that? Single fish. Single fish. Single fish. Look at that. In the mouth and everything. Alright, 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 chill. That's a 13.75 on that one. 13.75, 11 and a half. It's pretty crazy the number reactor, but the head of Cinco. There you go. See you later. I tried really hard to catch some more fish here, but that was it for the day. I get all these bites. How do how do they not like hook up on a wacky rig sinker? I don't know how. <laughs> There's like two and a half inches on each side of this giant hook. Let's flip this. Put this down. For a second. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe they want a reaction, but. So start flipping again or pitching again. There we go. Black and blue structure bugs back out. A little, all these random clumps I want to flip to, and these little points. But you got to keep in mind, this is like I'm like fifth person to this this spot. This spot is literally across the boat ramp. Okay, so if there was bass here, more than likely they've already been caught. So either uh, come in with a Cinco or you come in and try to make them react. Um, Ooh. That was a good one. And guess what? Huh, something bit it. Huh, okay, alright. I'll see how it is. I see how it is. That's what I'm saying, man. It's crazy in it. How the heck did they take my work? Oh yeah, uh, the uh, the Cinco is a Bass Pro generic. It's called the Sticko Lore. It's the green. It's the watermelon color with like all types of random colors and flakes in it. I throw this color and this color exclusively when it comes to Cinco's. I throw muddy water, clear water. Rainy days, bright blue days. I, mean, I don't know. It just seems to work for me. And I buy the, um, I buy the big pack too. All right, lost that one. All right, since we're on the subject, it's how so I my sinker. It's like that. Two watt VMC Nico hook, right through the middle of it. Yeah, you heard me right. I said it was a two like watt. That. It's a big one. That's twenty pound fluorocarbon. If you're wondering. That's what I do. I uh, make multiple passes and I don't catch anything. I saw a fish blow up on something, so I was trying to catch it, but, you know, kind of luck right here.
The other thing I should have done that I didn't do was probably uh, throw a rattle trap or a square bill. Um, I just didn't have one rigged up and I just, just didn't think of it until I got home. Because there's, it feels like there's a lot of like timber and stuff. And I just fucked it up. <laughs> yep. That's how you kill a spot. Yeah, I just missed that one up. Alright, I think it's time to go in, guys. I think it's time to go in. Got 15 minutes left. Time That's to it for today. There's a chance you might win. You caught three in a hard day. So this is all the way back. Going to white swim jig again. Um, I'm thinking I'm just going to burn it past this grass and hopefully a big one smashes it. Gotta get by right here. I just right. never hooked it. It took the tail off my son Jake's watch. The crazy part is I've already burned through this with a uh, popping frog and there's no, no action. So they wanted a uh, subsurface type stuff. There it was. Check this out. Tail's missing. We ain't got time to re ray So I'm thinking, just throw something back there quick. If he's still looking for something, then he might find it. But nothing. I've done that before. Where you lose a tail, just throw it right back in there. And a lot of times he's searching for something to just bite, and he'll he'll smash it. But not today. Tail there. Yep. Always follow with a Cinco just to make sure he's not there. And this Cinco setup, I'm very confident, confident with it in the heavy cover stuff. Like I said, it's 30 pound braid to 20 fluoro, two on hook, and it. It's it's caught me big fish in like the nastiest conditions. That one took but my tail off. I don't know if I'd fish it in clear water. Here we are, back at the ramp. Everybody's uh, giving excuses. You're like, it's a giant! <laughs> it's like, that's gotta beat the uh, lake record. <laughs> Yeah, why's he got whiskers? <laughs> then when you see it, you're like, why's he got whiskers? There's, yeah. there's something wrong with this. This bat's got some deformities. <laughs> you're right. Yeah. That's cool. Jeff? No. Yeah, you got a lot of fish, huh? Wow. Only. I couldn't hardly really get a bite. I got like five bites. I only got three fish. So, I did alright. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I didn't really go anywhere. I just stayed in this general area. I basically fished that entire bank right now. I should have went somewhere else, but I figured it was too late already. The good? Every, it was almost like every fourth cast. What? Every fourth cast? Who's the first guy? Not me. Not you? Mm -hmm. right now. It's okay. It's okay. I don't, I'm not going to win anyway, so. You will probably win big bass. 
I might. Alright, what did you get, Kong? I got a 20 and a quarter. Alright, fat one. Right there. Fat. The, oh, I'm zooming in. Got 20 That's and a quarter. Good. And then I got a bunch of small ones. So I got an 11 and a 13. 11 and a 13? Yeah. 11 even? Yeah. Well, let me pull it up. Let me see if I've. Eh, hold on. Let me see if I even took a picture or not. Oh, yeah, it's I did. There. I think that's Thomas. 11. And a half? Yep. Wait, hold on. Let me... Yep, 11 and a half and like a 13, three, 13 quarter. three quarters. That's it. I got like five bites. Well, you, you said it was 20 when you were over there by the dam. That's what I caught. I didn't see you catch Is it? it. No. I was over there drop shotting like an idiot out there. I saw some fish out there. Yeah. So I was like, drop shot. Yeah. Like, Anybody else's fish? Out. Yeah, uh, Joel. Yeah, so Joel. Joel got a big one. I think he got a big catfish. He was what he told me, but uh -oh. he also <laughs> caught a whole bunch of other fish too. That's what he said. Ugh. I don't know. It's a good day. I didn't cover enough water because I caught that one and they came back. I threw sinkholes. I was like, oh shit, there's a bunch of them right here. Did you get any on a sinkhole? I got two on sinkholes. Two. Yeah. I got two on sinkholes. Yeah. Can you catch one on there? Man, I hear them blowing up under. Well, finally wins with this lake. Damn, Joel that's like it today. Joel got big bass. All right, Joel. Nice. Twenty what? Twenty and a half. Twenty and a half. Yeah. <laughs> Man, he's so excited. <laughs> yeah. I'll get I'll get you back. Yeah. Well, I tried fishing down by the dam, but I didn't get any bites. So yeah. I can go at this point. Oh. Uh, what? Well, finally, we won. Good job. Yeah. News over there. Hey. Thanks, Jeff. Oh, man, good job. My reel, my reel was like drag is off. Hey, you good? No. Shit, I only got three bites. Well, I can't say I got six bites, but only I only landed three. I need to get new rods. Just go on eBay and just look at all the clearance stuff. That's how I buy mine. Okay. All even all my high end stuff, I buy through clearance. Uh, yeah. No. Like there's one shop called uh, Simon's, Simon's Outdoors, I think. All right, that's the end of the video, guys. Uh, that's Tuesday night for me. Wolf finally wins one off of a spot that I told him to go fish. Um, I did what I could. You know, it just wasn't my day. I mean, if you go to the ramp and you forget like two different things, and it just wasn't shaping out from the beginning. But I did what I could. I caught three. I was in contention. I think it was in the top five of the eight. Well, I was in the top four, top half of that. Uh, but yeah, Tuesday nights. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll have a lot more of these videos. Let me know in the comments if you guys have questions on tackle or anything like that. I'm fairly new to the bass sport, but I've figured out a lot of a couple things. So let me know. Thanks for subbing. Wait, actually sub if you haven't subbed. Click the like button, share this with your buddies, and uh, check out my merch store. Pick up a decal, $4 shipped, and uh, we'll see you later.